We are wrapping up our series of music online videos with a quick journey through the Smithsonian Global Sound for Libraries section. You can access the music online database through the Lincoln Library's website, courtesy of the Poly Music Library. From the main Lincoln City Library site, lincolnlibraries.org, you can choose the Resources tab, and then Online Resources, then Access from Outside the Library. In my case, I'm going to have to choose Inside the Library, as that's where I'm recording this. You'll need to enter your library card number and then the PIN number that you use for other online library resources like placing holds. Go down to the Arts, Music, and Entertainment Resources section and you can head right into the Smithsonian Global Sound section. As noted in a previous video, there are two sections of music online devoted to world music. The previous section we looked at focused on contemporary world music. And as you might have deduced from its title, the section we're looking at today deals more with historical world music traditions, as documented by the Smithsonian's record label, Folkways. Folkways was founded independently by Moses Ash and Marion Distler in 1948, and was acquired by Smithsonian in 1978, who have kept the label going as Smithsonian Folkways. A lot of these recordings are older parts of the Folkways discography, but this is a large and continually growing label, and there's plenty here that was released in the last decade as well. The functionality here is similar to other sections of Music Online, with a general search bar and advanced search options, and as you click through to listen to your search results, the vast majority of these will feature liner notes in that Related Documents tab, a major strength of this library and the Folkways label. This is just a treasure trove of international music recorded on location that we're going to find in this library. This is a truly outstanding place to look for musical inspirations that you've never heard before. Let's just click through on one of these genres and see what we can find. So we'll go down to the genre section. Got two columns here, and let's just click on Ritual and see what we find here. So we'll find a wide variety of music from all over the world that's being used for different types of uh, ritual, um, sometimes religious ritual, sometimes uh, formal music for festivals and things of that nature. Uh, pretty wide variety of material to find. Head into page two here. And let's check out some uh, Peruvian music here. Let's go to Mountain Music of Peru, volume two. So here we're going to find some music with some, some pretty unusual instruments like the cowhorn trumpet, songs sung as parts of traditional festivals in Peru, some street bands, some carnival music. All kinds of fantastic musical traditions that we'd likely never hear if it weren't for folkways. And here we can check out the liner notes, which will give us all kinds more in-depth information on these recordings. Let's head back to the front page here. One area that we haven't really talked about in any of these databases is simply the new section, which is um, just toward the bottom right corner of each page. Why don't we check out this uh, Chernobyl Songs project, Living Culture from a Lost World. So this turns out to be a very interesting project. If we click through on the related documents, we can sort of get a summary of the point of this music. So this features some traditional music from what's now referred to as the Chernobyl Zone that might otherwise have been lost after the Chernobyl nuclear disaster in 1986. So from the front page, we can browse through the places by continent if we click more. And then we can click through on each continent and drill down to particular areas. So let's drill down in Asia. Here we can see uh, quite a few areas that we can look at. And let's look and see what we can find for music from Burma. So here we have some really interesting music featuring um, a kind of unusual Burmese arched harp instrument that, that's popular in Burma. A few different recordings of that, as well as uh, some other hits as well. We'll click through on one of these and take a look. And again here we have the wonderful liner notes we can access through related documents. So 
So here we can see one of these harps and get some more information on these pieces. So that's a quick overview of the Smithsonian Global Sound section of the Music Online Database. I hope that you found this video series helpful. If you have any questions, you can contact the Poly Music Library by emailing me at poly, P-O-L-L-E-Y, at lincolnlibraries.org, or call 402-441-8520.